Hey, this is Lee from Tillman, back with some tech help for you. If you've got a Shopify site, you might have received a message like this one, asking you to update your DMARC record, and you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? And I don't blame you. I'm going to run through it here quickly now, enough so that you should be able to get this working, so you don't stop your emails going. So what you want to do is go to the website where your domain name is hosted. Now, your domain name is like your .com name or your .co.nz name. So it could be with GoDaddy or if you're in New Zealand here, it could be free parking. Or for me, I'm using a company called First Domains. So you'll need to figure out where it is that your stuff is hosted. And then you can go there. You'll need to know your login and your password. If you didn't set it up yourself and someone else in the business did, you're going to need to know this to be able to get access into your account. But once you're in there, you can manage your domains. For me, I need to click on this one. Your setup's going to be different to this. This is just for first domains, but you're looking for something similar. So you need to be able to get in to be able to manage your domain name. So for me, it's tillman.co.nz. I click on that. And you're looking for something about DNS records. Manage DNS zone records here is the one I want. But you're looking for something where you can change your DNS around. So DNS is the key. See if you can find something like that. And then you're going to see a list of all your DNS zone records, which are going to have lots of complicated looking computer stuff in it. You're going to add a record. So find where you can add a new one. Chances are your drop down for your record type is not going to have DMARC. If it does, that makes it a little bit easier, but you're probably not going to have that. So you're going to need to choose TXT or text. So choose your record type to be text and then your host name here. You need to make this to say underscore. So you want an underline and then DMARC and then a dot. So you've got DMARC dot your name .co.nz or .com whatever it is so it looks like this and then over in your value here you're going to need to type in there v equals d m a r c 1 and then you want your semicolon and then a space and then p equals none and then another semicolon Okay, so you're looking to add this into your record here. V equals D mark 1 semicolon space. P equals none semicolon. This is a very simple D mark record, but it should be enough to get the thing working so your emails don't bounce. Then you'll have a way of adding that or updating it or whatever your particular system says. We're going to update it. It says that was added successfully and we've got to allow an hour for this change to become active. So we look down here and this is something like what you're looking to see. If you can get that added in yourself, you'll save yourself having to get hold of a programmer and spend some money. Hope that helped. If you get stuck, give me a yell. I'm no expert on this stuff, but this should be enough to get you operating. Cool. Thanks heaps for watching.